Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing so far? We wanted to spice it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit in there, but I'm going to put them in the air. Hi, guys. You guys thought I was going to pitch in this. Before I get started, this is my team member, Amanda Richard, and my team member, Shane Swoller, and we are Team Good Eye Love from Linfield College. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Have you ever caught a football thrown at 45 miles per hour? If not, it's damn hard, and your hands feel like they just got hit by a brick. <laughs> My name is Clark Hazlitt, founder of the Gridiron Club, a football training aid that bridges the gap between the discomfort and difficulty involved in catching a football. As a young boy growing up, the bonding moments of throwing a football as hard as I could in the backyard by my dad for hours and hours are the memories I still cherish to this day. As I got bigger and stronger, the problem was that my dad started to become reluctant to want to play catch with me. <laughs> <laughs> that because of the pain that he experienced when he catch my folks. We even tried a variety of other sports clubs, but they didn't have much fun solving the discomfort and difficulty that he experienced. My personal experience of over 17 years involved with the sport of football, as well as knowing the ins and outs of football equipment, the Gridiron Glove will bring a biomechanical fit with protective materials that allow parents trainers, and coaches' ability to train their athletes at a high level. The gridiron glove will also reduce the overall bruising, stinging, and blistering of the fingers, thumb, and palm of the hand associated with the throw. In order to uh, establish proof of concept, we had our first prototype, as you guys can see here, created in Sportland, Oregon, mm -hmm. home to a couple of famed brands, such as Nike and Columbia Sportswear. And uh, our prototype is also currently patent pending. Some of the biomechanical features and benefits pertain to the continuous rounded edge, the overall scale, the spiral lace webbing, as well as the football pebble grain texture. In order to further test and validate our uh, gridiron glove, we had two prototypes manufactured, as you guys can see right here, overseas that have been in the hands of over 150 parents, trainers, and coaches who have served as early adopters and have provided us with feedback moving forward to perfect our product. Now that y'all know what the gridiron glove is and why we need it, Let's get into our business strategy, competition, and market opportunity. We plan to sell our product direct to consumer via our e-commerce website, while also through uh, specialty sports stores, such as Oregon City uh, Sporting News. In terms of competition, there is no product on the market that has a scale sufficient to catch, trap, or squeeze a football. This is because no company has made the connections in terms of developing a glove to accommodate the size of a football. When it comes to the overall total adjustable market for football equipment in the United States, it is just shy of one billion. Our target market within the total adjustable market is football protective gear and training equipment. We are going after a $400 million market. Over the past seven months, my team and I have been able to bring this ideation to life by using the build, measure, and learn philosophy, which has allowed us to be able to bring this to life faster than traditional startups. We've also made progress with not just one prototype, but three, as well as been able to uh, move forward with the manufacturer in China. I'd like to introduce you guys now to the team members, Amanda Reeser, Shannon Stoller, and Reed Worth, and I'd like to finish with this final question. If you had a football thrown at you at 45 miles per hour, do you think you could catch it? With the gridiron glove? Absolutely. <laughs> Specifically, we have this huge emerging market of leisure, family aspects of incorporating the glove, even for people that might be handicapped to be able to incorporate the glove. So we don't want to use the term, we're revolutionizing the sport of football, but we're hoping we're going to be able to lead it. That's it, so much. Uh, right now, 
with our manufacturer, our goal is for a pilot launch here in the fall. And the minimum units we can order is about 1000 right now. And per unit, it's $15. So moving forward, we'd be asking for $15,000 for cost of goods sold, $5,000 for marketing, and then $5,000 for shipping logistics. Hopefully, we can keep selling. What would you say? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we'd sell. So <coughs> between, we're still trying to figure out the ballpark pricing, but, but between 65 and 75. Else? Got two more. We're, we're prepared so much. Like a, how does that compare to a price like a baseball one? Yeah, so we did some market yeah. research. I don't know if yeah, <clears> so <throat> I play softball, and so I grew up buying a bunch of gloves, and you can buy anything from like a tiny little t ball glove from like $15 to like the high end like gloves that can cost up like $300. So this is pretty like lower mid, but still it like, gives you a high quality glove. And, yeah. and then moving forward, we want to build a good, better, and best glove, um, as well as to ensure that not only uh, we're going to be scalable, we want to integrate some technology into the glove, we'll be able to track through algorithms, uh, basically velocity for the quarterback specifically. Uh, so there is definitely some opportunities we just need to give you a chance to talk, chat about in regard to scalability, uh, but we want to be defendable as well as potential Thank you.